Hi, this is Steve at BlessedHopeForever.com I had to ask myself why was it that Adam, who was made from the dust of the ground why was it that God had to infuse life into Adam, breathe life into Adam to make him a living soul? And why is it that Jesus Christ, who was God Almighty, it was determined that He would not raise Himself from the dead, but that instead it would be the Father who would raise a dead man to life? Why was that? I think the answer to that is quite obvious. I think that these were patterns, shadows, types. I think that the lesson in this, all of this, and more, is that we could not raise ourselves to life. We could not do anything to resurrect ourselves to life. That God had to infuse life first in us before we could believe, receive, accept, or anything else. That life had to come first. Yeah, I'm going to suggest that, that what we see in all of this is a reflection of the very gospel itself. The very nature of the gospel. That God did it. That we had no part in it. That we didn't make a decision to become alive. Why is it that when the Christian dies, that God just didn't say, okay, when you die, you can just, since you're a Christian, you can just resurrect yourself to life. Why is that? Now I believe that all of these examples and more teach us a very important lesson. And that, that is that the gospel is what Christ did, not what we must do for God to do something. I love you all. I truly do. Thanks for watching.